lovely colouring friends. My name is Amanda and this is my channel Amanda Colours. I am here today to um, share with you my uh, my answers to a tag that Disney Meg's Colouring, Megan and I, um, created uh, a few months ago and we've called it the Colour Your Season tag. Uh, so we intend to do this every season um, so that we can answer the questions in relation to that season and the idea is that it's not any one season so that no matter where you are in the world and no matter what time of year it is you can still answer these questions as well so um the the season it is for me right now is summer um, in the southern hemisphere we are opposite seasons to the northern hemisphere um, and so for us christmas is during summer which I know is going to be very strange for a lot of you but that's just how it is here so I actually have been tagged in another tag video which is all about Christmas so I am going to answer this tag today purely about summer so I'm gonna leave Christmas out of it um, and just answer according to summer and while I am answering I am going to colour a page from this book here called My Australia, which I thought was fitting. Um, and I'm going to colour this seahorse right here. I might just lift you up a little bit. The tripod doesn't want to cooperate, but that's okay. So I am going to colour this page and I just realised I forgot to get a backing page one moment thankfully this book is single-sided because I want to use my Copic markers with this because if you've been around for any length of time here you would know how much I love using my Copic markers so let me see um, I'm trying to get myself organized here Get my questions, get my page, get my markers. And I think I'm going to do this little guy in pinks and yellows and oranges. So let's get started. Okay, here we go with the questions for the season tag. What is my favorite thing to color in summer? So I previously haven't really been a seasonal colorist, but since I've been more involved um, online with, uh, with the online coloring community and with um, YouTube and what have you, I feel like I've been influenced more into seasonal coloring, which, you know, is totally fine. I, I see, I see the fun in it and I see the value in coloring for whatever season or holiday or whatever that you're in. So, um, yeah, normally I would just color whatever took my fancy, but I am finding more and more that I'm wanting to color things that relate to the season I'm in. So, Australia gets so hot in summer. Um, oh, also, I wanted to share with you a little bit of a fact about Australia. We are one of the very few countries in the world that count, that start their seasons at the beginning of a month. So I know um, most countries, um, uh, it's hard to color and talk. Most countries, use the um the lunar calendar i think and you know the um position of the sun and what have you for the seasons but here in australia we literally just go by the months so the first of december is the first of the first day of summer and the first of march is the first day of autumn and so on so we are already officially in summer um, and we have already hit some summer weather. Uh, yesterday, no, the day before, it was already um, 38 degrees where I am. Um, and that's around 100 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Um, so yeah, it's already getting very, very hot. Um, and the worst part is the humidity. If it was dry heat, it would be much easier to bear, I think. But the, ugh, the humidity is just a killer. So because of that, and because um, I'm in Sydney and we have some of the loveliest beaches in the world, um, for me, summer is sort of, you know, based around the water and um, sea life. Um, and we also have our big, um, the school has its summer holidays just after Christmas. So for us, it's a really um, fun time of year. So, you know, going on holidays, um, going to the beach, swimming in backyard pools, all that sort of thing feels very summery to me. So that kind of a picture is the kind of picture I like to color for summer. So that is why I've chosen the seahorse and um, I, over the summer, will probably be coloring a lot of other sea creatures and um, scenes to do with the water. Yeah, that was a very long-winded answer. Sorry about that. Oh, okay. So... I really like using, oh, that's actually a question. <laughs> what are your favorite colors to use in um, a summer page? So um, I like to use warm pinks and oranges. So like more corally pinks, less, um, less purpley pinks. And I like to use soft oranges. I don't really like bright orange very much. Um, so like popsicle orange. Um, and blues, of course. Teals, aquas, all that kind of thing. I just, they feel like summer. They feel like the beach to me. Um, yeah. Heavy colors don't really speak of summer to me so I don't use them I don't tend to I don't really like using heavy colors anyway um jewel tones sometimes but deep dark colors are not really my jam um and I know like they're beautiful they are beautiful colors um I have seen stunningly gorgeous pages done with rich dark colors but yeah it's not really my thing. Light and airy, pastels, brights, that's my thing. I also really like neutrals um, and I find that in my home I'm always a little bit um, uh, conflicted as to what to do because I do kind of have two sides to to my taste and what I and the colors I like um, so mostly I do my what I call my studio which is where um, I work and where I do all my creative things um, I mostly have that white and bright colors um, and then areas like the living room and um, my bedroom I have done with more neutral colors um, because I also find that bright colors with a good amount of white is quite inspiring when I'm being creative and more neutral colors are, um, are more soothing for relaxing and sleeping and all that sort of thing Number three, what is your favorite summer scent? Um, I absolutely love the smell of jasmine as the sun is going down. Um, it, can't, it just feels like summer. It smells like summer. Um, hot air, sun going down, long days, and the smell of jasmine. It's beautiful. Um, I also... 
it seems a bit strange but I I do like this the smell of like sea air and sunscreen or um, I wouldn't want to smell it all the time but it feels quite nostalgic when you walk um, into like an indoor pool or even just a, a chlorine pool and you get that hit of the chemical smells it's not that I really like the smell it's more that it just brings back so many memories um, I used to do squad swimming um, when I was a kid so I spent a lot of time in the pool um, we or the house we had when I was a, a kid and a teenager um, also had a backyard pool which I pretty much lived in from the first hot day to almost through to um, Easter, which is uh, autumn for us here. Um, so yeah, I just lived in the pool. Um, so I just, like, I would still love to swim all the time, um, but being a big girl, I don't like doing that in public. And we don't have our own pool anymore. Um, so I don't really swim, which is a shame. I have been thinking of going and doing hydrotherapy though, um, to help with the fibromyalgia and the pain and to be able to do some exercise that is low impact. So maybe in the new year, I'll do that. But yeah, it's probably a bit of a strange smell, but um, yeah, I do like the, well, I don't like, the smell of chlorine makes me think of summer. Um, and the smell of mango. Oops, I got interrupted then. So, yes, I can remember what I was saying. I think I finished question three about the scent. So question four is, what is your favorite summer decor? So again, we don't really decorate for summer. Um, we decorate for Christmas, but as I said, that will be a different, a separate video. Um, so I guess for summer, all year round really, I just like my environment to be light and bright and airy, have air movement. Um, I guess essential for me is a fan or air conditioning uh, because I have, um, my condition makes me really hot all the time. Um, so yeah, that's not fun. But um, as far as actual decor, yeah, it doesn't really change throughout the year for me. Um, so I don't really have an answer for that one. Um, five, favorite summer food. Um, so I actually really, really, really love um, melon. So watermelon, um, honeydew melon. Uh, we call it rock melon. I think in other places they call it cantaloupe. Um, I really love melons, but um, I actually can't eat fruit. Um, my stomach doesn't really process it properly um, anymore, which is quite annoying. Um, so yeah, um, as far as other other food, it's not really a food, but I, I really love um, slushies and slurpees and um, those crushed ice drinks. I love them a lot, actually. Um, uh, what else? Um, I do enjoy a good salad. You know, good mix of of different veggies and maybe some chicken, that sort of thing. Yeah, that's probably it. Oh, I know. I do really love a good barbecue. Um, and barbecue in Australia is a little bit different to the US. Um, it's basically just grilling. Um, 
but yeah oh that's a smell I really love too from summer sausages or steak or whatever on the barbecue smells amazing it smells like summer <laughs> oh and to clear up the uh, the stereotype we don't throw shrimp on the barbie for one we call them prawns <laughs> not shrimp I don't even know where that came from in the movies um, and I mean we do barbecue them sometimes um, but yeah we call them prawns not shrimp so I'm just coloring different sections I'll do these bits in here Should have done that in the orange. Okay, question number six. What is your favorite summer activity? Hands down, no question, swimming in the pool. Um, as I said, I would love to have my own pool. I would live in it. Um, but I don't have one anymore so apart from that my favorite thing to do would probably be to be inside out of the heat with a fan on coloring watching a movie uh, spending time with family being inside away from the heat and humidity I do love a good shower at the end of the day too in summer to cool down and freshen up before trying to sleep. I guess that counts as an activity. I'm trying to slow down on the questions a little bit because I'd really like to finish this with you all here. Because uh, I did a poll on my community tab a little while ago and people were asking me to do more start to finish pages rather than just starting a page and then posting the end result later so that's what I am trying to do today and I actually have the house to myself today which is a very 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 rare occurrence but it will be more common now that my stepfather has passed and we no longer have all the care staff and nurses and things here um, now that it's just mum and I at home um, obviously whenever she goes out if I'm not going out I'll have some time to myself and I actually do really well with having alone time. I know lots of people don't like being alone, but I am definitely an introvert who recharges by having alone time. So I'm really looking forward to having the opportunity to do that a whole lot more. Um, and mum has gone to my nephew's year six graduation so here in Australia he has finished primary school and will be going into high school so we have um, <laughs> I had to count we have six years of high school here um, our terminology is a bit different and the way we break up our schooling is a bit different to other places so my niece is finishing year eight this year going into year nine next year that's the other thing our school years go with the calendar years so kids finish 
school at the end of um just before christmas in december um and then they start a new school year in um usually the end of january early february so yeah she's finishing year eight going into year nine and my nephew is finishing year six going into year seven and they're growing up so quickly it's crazy i only have one niece and one nephew um, they are my sister's kids my step siblings don't have any children um, and i don't have any children so my niece and nephew kind of get a bit spoiled because they're the only ones I'm sure they don't mind um, but I just love them to bits I love being an auntie it's just the best they're such great kids they've been through a lot in their short lives um, but they're just incredible kids and I'm so proud of them and I am just so blessed to be their auntie Okay, let's go back to the questions. What are we up to? Number seven. Which colouring book do you feel best embodies summer? Well, it would probably have to be any book that um, is based on summer. I do really like um, the Matchstick Mouse summer colouring book. And I really like Rita Berman's um, My Walk Through Summer. Um... They would probably be my favorites. Yeah. But yeah, there are lots of really, really great coloring books for summer. I love when um, artists, illustrators do like one-off freely coloring pages for different seasons. It is a little bit annoying though that um, most of the content that is created out there is from the Northern Hemisphere. So, you know, all the beautiful summer things are being released in winter for us and all the, you know, it's really hard to find any kind of Christmas page that is summer based. It's always winter and snowy and, but and even here in Australia, we use um, <laughs> winter-based decorations and colours and things because that's just what's available for Christmas. Although the last couple of years, they have been releasing more um, Australiana, native, Australian-style things, which has been really cool because for the longest time, anything that was Australian was really old fashioned. It was really just not nice. Um, but yeah, it's really cool to be able to get some things that are fashionable and designed well and what have you that are Australian. It would be nice to be able to have some colouring pages that were summer Christmas. If I could draw, I would probably create some. But I can't, so. <laughs> okay, what shall I do next? Thinking, thinking, thinking. It's really nice um, when you get a book that has pages with a black background because you don't have to be quite so careful about your colouring when you're using markers anyway because you can't really see very much if you go over the lines and sometimes you just want to do a quick colour you don't want to sit for hours on the one page oh, I don't anyway I've been doing a lot of 
coloring the last few days I'm trying to catch up on my November pages that I didn't get done and then I've also started two advent coloring books so by the end of December I should have two more completed books but it's one of them is quite detailed and a lot it takes a lot of time to get done every day so that has been a challenge I at first wasn't going to after I got the book I thought oh it's just too much I'm not going to do it but I decided to get stuck in and I caught up and now it's just the two pages each day um, and so far I'm enjoying it so I'm glad I decided to do it I was actually inspired by um, Jodie from J.I. Colorist because she is doing one of the same books and I loved how her pages were coming out so I thought oh so I thought oh I am going to do it too Okay, is that all the swoopy bits? I do this, this part, this color too. Okay, question number eight. Do I have any summer traditions? Um, yeah, so, well, not so much anymore. Um, but when I was a child, um, my family would always go on a summer holiday, summer vacation. Um, whether it was just two hours north, um to my grandparents or um, sometimes we would go further up north to foster um, which was a lot of fun again to the beach uh, we would um, be a long car drive about six hours or so um, and then um, yeah we would Go to the beach just about every day we would also um there was a mini golf place right nearby uh we would get ice cream walk along the breakwater which is kind of like a pier uh what else would we do We'd play a lot of board games. In our teen years, um, we got a, a Nintendo for Christmas um, one year and Nintendo 64. Um, and we would take that on holiday with us and we would play, play on that sometimes. Um, so going away on holiday. Oh, I've sort of answered number nine as number eight so number nine is do you go on a summer vacation um not so much anymore we have a few times since i've been an adult but particularly um the last 
number of years, my stepfather, Dave, had been too unwell to be able to go away. Um, so we haven't sort of been on a family vacation for a long time. Um, my mum is actually going away with my niece and nephew uh, in January. Um, so that'll be fun for them. And... Yeah, but back to traditions. Um, well, both my mum and my birthdays are in December, so... You know, every year we do things to celebrate that. That's during summer. Um, uh, my sister's birthday is in January, which is still summer. Uh, we tend to do um, at least one big jigsaw puzzle as a family during um, the summer holidays. And... I guess that's a tradition. I'm trying to think what else might be classed as a tradition. Hmm. Can't think of anything else. I only really have one more question to answer, so I'm trying to get as much done quickly before I answer that question. I was just listening to some Christmas music before I came on here and I have the song Silver Bells stuck in my head. <laughs> Don't forget, if you haven't already, um, go and check out my, uh, what's it called? My Colour Along video. I'll put a link up in the, in the iCards. Um, because I have a completely exclusive Morgan O'Brien page that you actually can't download anywhere else. Uh, Morgan was super kind to let me be a part of his matchstick mouse Christmas scavenger hunt. Um, so there are a bunch of people listed in the description of that video. They all have um, exclusive pages. So if you go to everyone's different page, you'll be able to collect them all and have a whole bunch of super cute um, matchstick mouse uh, coloring pages so that's a whole lot of fun so go and check that out and um, and download the page and check out all the other channels oh my puppy's wolfing sounds like maybe a delivery truck is coming what is it Harley Someone coming. Oh. Someone coming. Poor thing's getting used to our house being laid out completely differently to how it used to be. Uh, we've brought me downstairs so that I don't have to manage the stairs every day. Which has been such a help. Um, oh, he's not happy.
Oh, I didn't realize I'd moved. Sorry about that. Okay. Almost there. Very cute. I think I'll give him a light yellow eye just because that's what's here. And I have some fun stickles I might put on. So while I do that, I will answer number 10. Do you have a favorite summer memory? Well, I think it would just have to be, um, actually, I'm going to do all the spots, yellow stickles. Um, it would have to be my family holidays. Uh, they're just, we had a whole bunch. So that's just what embodies summer for me. Spending that time with my family, birthdays, Christmas, like there's just so much that happens in summer here. This stickles is called a sunburst. Um, but yeah, going, we had a couple of family holidays to um, the state that is north of where I am called Queensland um, and up there, uh, a bunch of different theme parks and um, uh, like water parks. So we did those um, a couple of times and that was a whole lot of fun. Um, we went to one water park called Wet and Wild and um, <laughs> there's this uh, really, really steep water slide. Um, and it's called a speed slide and it actually tracks how fast you go down the slide and my dad um, went on there and he got stuck he got stuck halfway down this super super steep water slide that was supposed to be a speed slide um, his there was just friction between um, his body and the water slide and he just got stuck um, and so they had to get like the staff to kind of uh, climb halfway down and help him get um, unstuck it wasn't a tube or anything so he wasn't like stuck in a tube it was just like a slide and he just got stuck um, and couldn't get himself going so then um, he decided he had to do it again, try it again. Um, and he, the, he then went on to completely break the speed record for the day. Um, and the whole day we were there, no one else managed to go faster than him. So after he got stuck, he then broke the record, which was pretty cool. So that's a pretty fond memory. Um, I remember all throughout the day, we kept going back to that one slide to see if anyone had um, had beaten the record, but no, nope, Dad beat it and kept it for the day. I don't even remember what the, what the speed was because it was quite a long time ago, but yeah, it was pretty funny. It, it was so typical of my dad though, like he just, like, yeah, <laughs> just seems to be... He was a very unique individual, my dad, and life of the party, very outgoing, so fun. Um, yeah, I miss him a lot. And then my stepdad was just opposite. He was quiet and reflective and 
um, had this amazing like inner strength and determination. I was very blessed to have them both in my life. But anyway, that is my completed page. I don't know if you can see any of the sparkle. It probably needs to dry. Um, yeah, so that is my little seahorse that I have colored as I answer the questions to the season tag. Uh, so I am supposed to tag some people. Who shall I tag? I will tag um, Anne from Pretty Pages 71. I will tag Pixie from Pixie's Projects because I know she loves to do a tag video. And I will tag Gaga for gluing. I'm going to tag you. Okay, so they're my three people. But of course, everyone is welcome to do this tag. It is not an invitation only. So the questions will be down in the description. And if you want to take part, um, simply take part. And then tag myself and um, Disney Meg's colouring so that we can check it out. Awesome. So thank you so much for spending this time with me. I hope you found my answers interesting. Um, and I will see you next time. Bye.